Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday at Fresh Time Farmers Market Ooh. with my good friend Carrie Clifford. She's a representative of Fresh Time and she's also a registered dietitian. If you didn't know, May is Food Allergy and Asthma Awareness Month. And so yeah. for those who suffer from these things, horrible. And I'm so lucky, Carrie, I've never had a food allergy. Yeah, well, they're increasing in prevalence, and the young I, kids yes, have them I've a lot more. That. Yep. I know a lot of parents who have uh, children that are school age. Can't yeah. bring, you know, peanuts and other and eggs and other things like that or products that contain those things to school. So if you're one of those parents or you suffer from a food allergy, yeah. Carrie has come up with some incredible swaps for you. And if you just want to be, uh, you know, healthy as well, these also fit the bill. So yeah. let's first talk, Carrie, about uh, food allergies in general. T talk a little bit about what that entails. Yeah, so it's a medical condition, um, never self-diagnosed, it's diagnosed by a doctor. And what it is, is that actually the protein in the specific food ah, okay. is what your body responds to and it thinks it's like an invader. And so it sets off these alarms. So really some people get an itchy throat, but then actually as bad as some people could die. Um, people go to the emergency room every three minutes in America for an allergic reaction. So super common, it's happening more and more, and we really don't know the cause of it, which yeah, I is think, scary. I'm sure a lot of people probably watching are asking why, why is it so, so much more common? And I think yeah. that's a question I've had too, but still has not been determined. So yeah. let's start down the line then with some of these products that Fresh Time carries, but you can also probably get at your uh, local grocery store as well. So yeah. um, the first one we're talking about are soy allergies. What are some swaps for that? Yeah, so soy is obviously usually in soy sauce, tofu, edamame, those are all from soy. And so we sell something called coconut aminos, and it basically tastes just like soy sauce, but doesn't have soy in it. So if you want Asian food and you want the flavor, you can use this. I love that. Yeah, okay. and I personally use it anyways. Okay. Um, also, like a lot of vegetarian products have a ton of soy in them, but this brand makes a ton of uh, like patties that are vegetarian without soy. So one good thing is you can always look on the back and it'll say what it contains the food labeling laws require that it labels the top eight allergens. So let's show that too to folks who are watching. If you can see kind of that area next to the ingredients where Carrie pointed to and you can see contains and then it just says coconut oil. Yep. Otherwise it would say soy. Right, okay. exactly. Or, or tree nuts or eggs right. or something like Any that. Any of the top dairy. eight. Okay, so the next one, and this is a huge one. So parents, yeah. listen up. Um, we're talking about peanuts and tree nuts. And what are some swaps for that? Yeah, so peanuts are one that a lot of schools are not letting people bring in. But this is also a personal favorite product is sunflower oh, that, seed I butter. Love, it's my favorite. Yes, me I love too. It more than peanut butter. Yes, I and have it at home. So it's really great to bring to schools if you can't have peanuts, because I know kids love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I eat mine with a banana. Um, but also thinking of easy snacks on the go without peanuts and tree nuts can be difficult. So tons of different bars. These are made from chia seeds actually, which are yeah. safe for peanut or tree nut allergies. And then also if you're gonna miss your Reese's, um, there are Reese's with sunflower seed butter. So, oh, it, so what do you know? they're called sun cups. So if <laughs> you need your sweet those treat, later yes, those, those are a favorite snack. <laughs> okay, uh, and then uh, we're talking also about egg allergies and what yes. are some swaps? I mean, mayo, I think that's like one of the biggest right. ones that I can think of that I love to enjoy, but if you right. have an egg allergy, you can't. Exactly, so Caesar dressing and mayo are two things that, well, maybe we could live without, but if you have an egg allergy, you probably miss it. So this brand, it's actually a vegan product. So looking for vegan products on the shelf mean there's no animal products also means there's no eggs so this one and then also this vegan mayonnaise and then this is really cool it's actually called just egg but there's no egg it's made from mung beans and yeah. so you just saute it up and it looks just like eggs but it's not does it have to be refrigerated it does yeah okay i see it as cold that's incredible it's and a really cool one beans they're Where just a, a bean that have protein in them similar okay. to like black beans um they're popular in asian dishes okay yeah. Fascinating. Pretty All cool, right. huh? Um, and then we're talking about wheat allergies. Yes. So not to be confused with celiac disease. So wheat is actually an allergy to the protein in wheat. Gluten is actually another protein that is found in wheat, barley, and rye. I see. So they're different, but you can avoid the same things. So lots of good products like different veggie noodles, um, chickpea pasta, if you don't want to miss out on the wheat pasta. You know, I tried that for the first time. Um, my mom bought some for me. Yeah. I actually, I think I bought some at Fresh Time as well. And 
it's really decent. Yeah. I, I like the wheat pasta better. That's like my preference. Right, me too, yeah. Um, but I understand if you have an allergy, you have to stay away. So this is a, definitely a good alternative. You could put some like tomato sauce or um, or, or some other like Parmesan cheese. Well, I guess you can't have that yeah. if you have a dairy allergy. But so sorry you could if you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's dairy-free cheese too. Perfect. Um, also, these <laughs> cauliflower pizza crust, again, you have wheat in the flour of pizza crust. So right. you can avoid that easily here. And, have you tried the cauliflower pizza crust? I have, yeah. How, how similar does it taste? So What's it the tastes, difference? it doesn't get as like crispy as regular pizza. Um, if you are having pizza once in a while and don't have an allergy, just eat the regular pizza. Okay. But if you do want to be a little healthier and have it more often, I think it's a good swap. All right, I haven't tried it yet, yeah. but that's something that's on my list. Uh, tasty. And now we're talking about dairy allergies. Yes, so this is a common one in kids. Um, and unfortunately, dairy is in chocolate and ice cream, which are kid favorites. So there and is- And Natalie favorites. Of course, me too, why not? <laughs> um, so there are dairy-free chocolate chips that we sell. Oh. Um, so if you want, don't wanna miss out on making a chocolate chip cookie, but remember to skip the butter and the milk and everything like that that's in baked goods. Um, also like dairy-free ice cream, there's a ton of that out these days, Where's tons of different brands. Dough. I know, right you might have to try that. I know. Um, and then what's great is the different milks. So there's actually oat milk out now that's free of all top eight allergens. So for people who need to avoid that, it's a nice swap. What else did you have Your Almond milk, coconut yeah. almond milk. Yep. Yeah, I've never seen that combination before either. And then also that's cashew queso. What? So if you're gonna miss out on your cheesy queso, yes. it's made from cashews. What in the world? Yeah. This is incredible. So something to note though, is a lot of these swaps have other allergens in them. So you just wanna okay. be careful if you're doing like dairy free, then you might not be doing nut free. So just reading the label is important. And then let's talk a little bit more about celiac. I think you had mm -hmm. some information about that as well. Cause I think a lot of people think, oh, if I go, um, wheat free or if it, that it's a good thing but technically people do need those nutrients if they don't have an right. allergic reaction to them yeah so um celiac disease is one of those one in a hundred people actually test positive for celiac however a lot of people are sensitive to wheat or gluten and so a lot of people find just cutting out baked goods and breads make them feel better and there's no problem with that but um, the actual allergy can be deadly and they're not to be confused. Okay. And then there so. was one other allergen that you wanted to talk yes, about. Yes, the um, fish and shellfish. Yes. So those are a lot less common, um, but they're still important. So obviously avoiding fish if you're allergic to fish and then avoiding shellfish. You do wanna check in a lot of sauces and marinades and breading because they sometimes okay. use like fish sauce and things like that but those are a little bit more clear cut than some of the other ones. Now, can you develop an allergen or an allergy later in life or is it something you're typically born with? Yeah, it's most common in kids and for certain allergies, they tend to outgrow them. Other ones stick their whole life, but they're definitely seeing more and more adults that are testing positive for allergies. Okay, so it's something you could come up with then. Definitely. You could be at a friend's house at a party eating like a, a piece of pizza and then all of a sudden have an issue. So yeah. it's good to know. If people want more information on food allergies, where can they go? Yes, so there's a group called FARE, F-A-R-E dot org. It's food allergy research. Um, they have a ton of information. You can even print out stuff to give to your teachers at school um, if you want more information. Great, yeah. and if people want to stop by their local Fresh Time, where are you guys yes. located? Yes, we're in 11 different states. Uh, we have about 80 stores and you can look on our website, freshtime.com. This is one of my favorite yeah. grocery stores because whenever <laughs> I come in, everyone knows my name. Yes. It's like cheers. <laughs> uh, and everyone is so friendly and could not be more helpful. I know Good. sometimes you're, when you're at a store, it's hard to find someone to help you locate a product. Yeah. And actually, I was here uh, I was here last weekend shopping for groceries and I wanted to get um, some LifeWay Kiefer Frozen, uh, oh, the frozen good. kefir. Mm -hmm. This is something that I'm into. It's a fermented food right yeah. now. Good. And uh, you guys have it here. You have good. strawberry flavored frozen kefir and someone was able to direct me to that. Oh, good. So I was very grateful for that. So again, we are at Fresh Time Farmer's Market. Carrie's a wonderful resource. If you guys have yeah. any questions, post them below. And if not, have a wonderful Friday. Yeah. Bye. Bye.